I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for all the London system players. Because today, guys, I'm showing you in just 9 minutes how to refute one of the most popular chess opening. The London system. Let's start with the very good news. You can play this variation both if you play the move knight of 6 or d5 versus 1d4. In fact, after knight f6, for example, bishop f4, you will play the move d5, so it's the same. At this point, white will go on with the typical London system development that deals with move like e3, c3, bishop d3, the knight goes on f3, and then eventually on e5, a very annoying square, and white will also castle short. On the black side, we want to go on with move like e3, and we place the bishop on d6, remember that. Then we will castle, we will play c5, and now what about the knight? In some cases, we will move it on c6, in other cases on d7. Watch out for the differences. Also, you need to remember that this queen is going on c7 and the bishop goes on b7 after the move b6. Sorry for the many errors, one quick note. In the London system, white is very flexible with the move order. I will always show you the best move order for white and black. If white changes anything, don't worry, you will get the same position just a few moves later. Now let's go. White mostly plays here the move e3 and you play the move e6. Knight f3 and now remember the bishop goes on d6. From this position, white has already some possibilities. Let's start with the move knight bd2. This move was played by Carson versus Anand in 2017. Castle, bishop take d6, queen take d6, and c4. This is what Carson played with white. Here you just need to remember how to develop your pieces, how to bring them out. And you do it with b6, bishop b7, knight bd7, and then you can always go on with the typical c5, fighting for the center. That's all. At this position, white can also play the move c3, and after c5, bishop to d3, you need to be ready to capture the bishop on f4, and after e take f4, to know how to go on. And here you play queen b6, attacking the pawn. Most probably white is just protecting, you go back with the queen, attacking the other pawn, provoking g3 and now you go with the move c4 attacking the bishop the bishop is going back and now remember the plan you will go for a queen side expansion moves like knight c6 b5 a5 and you will keep going even with b4 that's all for this let's go back at move five here white can also capture the bishop on d6 immediately and after queen take playing immediately the move c4 castle and knight on c3 also here there is not much to know you just will keep going with moves like c e6, bishop e2, and b6. And now the typical plan of this structure, you will go with the bishop on e7, knight on d7. Sometimes you take on c4 and always watch out for d takes e4 followed by c5 or e5. Black as always a very good position. From this position, let's go now at the moves that you will see very often. The move number one is for sure bishop g3, but we will see it later. Let's go with the annoying move knight on e5. For me, that move was always very annoying because it's not so easy to kick that knight away. All you need to remember is a plan for black. After the move castle, knight d2, you play c5. And after c3, you develop standard the queen on c7 and after bishop d3 now where is the knight going remember always when the knight is on e5 you place your knight on c6 that's important now you're attacking the knight on e5 so you want to take and to win a pawn so knight f3 is basically forced and now the plan for black this is important after knowing this plan i've started to love to play against the london system and before i literally hated it here you need to remember to go with your knight on e7 followed by b6 and bishop b7 and then you place this knight on e4 and the idea is that you will be then able to kick this knight away this annoying knight away with the move f6 that's all that's all you need to know you will have a great position if you remember this let's go back and move five your domain move is bishop on g3 and now the game will go on with typical moves for white and for black you will see castle knight bd2 c5 c3 queen c7 bishop d3 at this point bishop d3 is the main move but be complete we need to consider the move knight e5 this is the last possibility for white to place the annoying knight on e5 because after bishop d3 we will play the move knight d b d7 and now the knight cannot really go on e5 and if he does it you say thank you very much and you take everything and win a pawn 
So let's see what happens if in the last moment possible white is placing the knight on e5. Now you play a very important move c4. You're just avoiding the bishop to go to the square where he would like to go on d3. So he has to go on e2. And now you keep going knight bd7. f4, very typical move to support the knight on e5. b5, you go for a queen side attack castle and a5 this position believe me is amazing is already slightly better for black and mostly white will try to keep going with moves like bishop f2 g4 g5 and trying to go for a king side expansion you will go on the queen side it looks scary but i will show you in the next few moves that it's actually not a problem the game might go on with bishop f2 uh, you go with the knight on b6 you want to support your pawns g4 knight on e5 you want to block the center this knight is really taking control of the center after for example knight take e4 d take e4 this position is very good for black because you're going to play the move f6 next and the knight doesn't have a square i won so many games because the knight was lost at the center of the board so here white might play the move g5 keeping going for an attack but you can just play the move b4 and your attack is stronger now you're really attacking this pawn and white cannot let you take it so needs to protect with queen c1 now you play the move f6 after g take f6 g take f6 the the knight needs to go back and you play king h8. This position is incredible because you are nearly winning already with black. You're attacking on both king side and queen side. So amazing position for black. Let's go back and go straight into the main line. In this position, bishop d3 is the most played move and you will go with the knight on d7. Remember, in the main line, you place your knight on d7. Mostly just against the knight on e5, you place your knight on c6. White will most probably castle here. And soon the dream position for black will be reached. You take the bishop and after pawn takes, you will go for the center with the move e5. If white doesn't want to have a very bad position, he needs to know the move e4. If white doesn't want to be worse, needs to play this. And with black, you will get an equal endgame. Remember, you need first to take on e4 and then to take on d4 with the c pawn. And after c take d4, you take also the knight. We are exchanging many pieces, knight on f6 attacking the bishop after queen c2 we even exchange the queens we get to this end game black has no problem you actually have even a better pawn structure so maybe you can try to push a bit here but most probably this should be an equal end game let's go back to this position most of your player in both otb and the line will take the pawn on e5 and now we are getting close to the dream position knight take e5 knight take e5 queen take knight f3 attacking the queen and you place your queen on h5 this position believe me is amazing for black you have so many plans you might want to attack this king this weak king and you have so many ways to do it bishop on g4 is a typical move knight on e4 and then you might want to bring a rook towards h6 rook d8 rook d6 rook h6 and eventually you want to give mate believe me this might really happen for example white might play you're the move bishop e2 bishop g4 queen on b6 attacking your pawns you don't care you go with the knight on e4 you let the pawns and if white is taking the pawn you say thank you very much you're really helping me you go with the rook on b8 the queen might take another pawn and you go with the rook on b2 capturing a pawn you are very active you're close to be winning here after bishop d1 you play queen h6 which is a very smart move and after just a random move for white a4 try to push the pass pawn you can already go for the very strong tactic boom knight to f2 and after rook takes you take on e3 and you are winning here Fatality. that's it in this position white might not be greedy and not capture the pawn on b7 and go with a normal move rook half d1 here you keep going with the other plan rook a d8 protecting the pawn on d5 but also preparing another idea after the move c4 you will push the pawn and after e take d4 you ignore again everything in the center and you go with the rook on d6 and where are you going on h6 to give mate this is another completely winning position for black so guys, I'm not joking when I say that this position is already slightly better for black. You have an amazing position now, you even know the plan, and you will have so much fun to face the London system. After this, London system is not boring, it's very funny, but for black. And now please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.